Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here with Cinema Sound. Today we are going at another great plugin that we use in post-production from Adobe Audition today. It's the Channel Mixer, which is sort of an obtuse plugin that you may not know what it does. It does a whole lot of things, but for us in post, it primarily has one grand use, and that's down mixing. Let me show you. We're here in Adobe Audition, which if you've never used it, we strongly suggest that you go to our website, cinemasound.com, and stream the Adobe Audition 1, 2, 3 uh, product that we have, which will take you from I've never booted Adobe Audition to I'm really great at using it and creating great results. So here I've got a 5-1 a stemmed out uh, mix from our television pilot, Blade of Honor. Here it is just kind of by itself. <laughs> We're on course, making our parabolic trajectory around Kalinar Strike Area Tango. Ops, confirm condition yellow. Five seconds ago, crew is at yellow station. Now, of course, you're listening to this in headphones, so you're hearing it just stereo. And Adobe Audition does a really good job of down mixing 5.1 to stereo on its own without having to do anything. Let me flip over to the mixer, and you can see this is the channel of the 5.1. You can see the multiple little bits there. We're on course, making and I'm routing it to a stereo bus, which is then going to what you're hearing now. So it's doing this, and I'm not actually, I don't have anything plugged in. We're on course, making our parabolic trajectory Center, around Kalinar left, Strike right. Area Tango. And there's a surround confirm condition in yellow. the back, and Five the LFB there yellow. in the middle. Going happily to stereo. But what if you needed to take control of these outputs and that down mix to stereo? And what if you really needed to make it ITU standard? Because what's happening here in Audition, even though it may say that it's ITU, it really is not. Well, we instantiate on the uh, the actual 5-1 channel, uh, or the 5-1 bus, your master, whichever way that is, the channel mixer. So we'll go here. I've already done that, but I'll just show you how. Here in the effects rack, making sure that you're on track effects, not clip effects. We go to amplitude and compression, and the channel mixer. And there we are. Now this is a little bit complicated, so stay with me. Up here are the channels that you are outputting to, and this way are the channels that are on the track itself. So we have left, right, center, LFE, LSRS on the track itself, but we are only wanting to output to left and right. These other channels over here are not what we want. Whatever's turned on to left is going to that left stereo channel, which we're down mixing to and whatever's on right. So right now the only thing that's turned up is 100% left channel for left and 100% right channel for right. Now we have center going to center, but we don't care because we're not gonna use the center LFE, LS, or RS. So we're gonna turn these off for every other channel so that we can deal exclusively with left and right. It's a little bit tricky because Adobe has these settings in percents instead of decibels. And if you've done any ITU or down mixing, you know that on the whole, center channel should be reduced by three decibels in the left and right channels. And the surround channel should be reduced by, give or take, six decibels. And the LFE, if you don't have, if you have stuff that's actually specific that only exists exclusively in the LFE channel should be probably minus three or so. So how do we do that? How do we figure this out? Well, it's really, really hard to do. But first, let's deal with the center channel. How do we know what level to put the center channel at? Well, I know, bad prepositions. I've actually made a preset for us so that you can see it yourself and then make your own. That's here, Mark's 5-1 down mix. And this is what it would look like. You'd want the center channel to be at 72.5%. That's minus three decibels. So left, the center channel is minus uh, 72.5. LFE, minus 72.5. The right channel, the same, right? We want them equal and the same. But the surround channels to be six decibels down, it's 51%, not 50%, it's 51%. And we would want that in both channels. Now, we're on course, making our parabolic trajectory around. With this instantiated, you can see that we no longer have five one channels. We're on course, making our parabolic trajectory. We have the stereo happening here, and then this channel is being told uh, basically what to do. In fact, you could output from this to a stereo out if you wanted to. We're on course, making our parabolic trajectory around. If we turn this off. We're on course, making our parabolic trajectory around. We're back to Adobe doing the way it wants to. And it's very difficult to hear the difference because we're talking about a few, maybe even halves or fractions of decibels difference. But in an appropriate deliverable, that could make a difference between getting the ultimate horrible phone call from quality control and sneaking by your delivery unscathed. So again, 
take a look at this. Make sure you've got these set up in your presets in the channel mixer. This is the appropriate way to get the right decibel output for each one of these channels when you're doing a down mix. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. And if you've watched any of the hundreds of other videos that we have on this channel, it, please subscribe to us and definitely come visit us at cinemasound.com. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're